Hi, welcome to Shop Stop this week. Today we're going to talk about pneumatic tools. We've got a couple of different types of tools laying here. Some of them rotate and some of them hammer and we're going to explain why, why that's important to pneumatic tools and, and your uh, compressor requirements. The thing you want to look at is, is what the tool is going to do. If it's going to hammer, then you're going to need pressure. Uh, just a little brad nailer here has a minimum pressure requirement of 70 psi. Once you, st as you start looking at pneumatic tools, you'll have the ratings for what they need as far as uh, flow rates in cubic feet per minute or in uh, uh, the pressure that they need in psi. Now, if you're going to be running like an impact or an air drill, well, it's not going to need the pressure, but it's going to need a lot of volume. So you're going to have to either give the compressor a break every once in a while, or you're going to have to have a larger unit to be able to handle the volume required by a tool like this. So once you're selecting a compressor or uh, the, the tanks that you need, the volume that you've got in those tanks, you know, look at the tools you're going to use with it. You can kind of cheat the, uh, the, the spinning type tools like an impact wrench a little bit by having a larger tank but you can only do that for a little while and then, the, then you're going to have to wait longer as the compressor tries to catch up. So the best thing to do is to size the compressor for the things that you want to be doing with the tools. All right, that's uh, what we've got on pneumatic tools and we've also got some, uh, a little tip here. Uh, whenever you use a pneumatic tools, there's actually oil that's required to, to put in them and it just takes a drop or two right down the, the end of the, the connector just a drop or two, run them, it'll make your tools last longer and especially if you've got a lot of moisture running in your airlines it'll help uh, prolong the, the tool as well. That's it this week for Shop Stop. We'll see you next time.